Hey, this is my recap for Project Runway Episode 2, and there's one small problem. Um, I deleted the episode. So, normally I write up, I watch the episode, like I did, and in this case I live tweeted it and all that, and then I go back and I watch it again and take notes, and somehow, instead of hitting replay, I deleted it, and so I can't rewatch it, which I'm actually okay with, because I thought it was a really bad episode. So I'll kind of get into why as we go through the episode. Uh, first off, it's an unconventional and a team challenge. I love the unconventional challenge because I think it has some of the best works, some of the most surprising work, but not this episode. So they go to a movie theater, they have all of these um, uh, movie theme things, film and marquee letters and stuff like that. And, uh, and then they're also working a team of three, so there's five teams at this point, there's 15 designers, so there's five teams, three designers per team, and they have to make a cohesive collection. Now, uh, the first, the, the, the team that we focus on the most is Sandaya and her two um, partners. Now, remember, she has immunity, which is totally, she's screwed either way. Because to start off with, she has a very strong idea of what she wants to do. The team as a whole decide, like, oh, let's just go do our own thing each, and then we'll come together later. Well, then they come together later, and they're all over the place. And then they're like, I don't know who she thinks she is. She has immunity. She should do what we want. And through some turmoil, she decides to do that. Well, she's screwed because if she does her own design the way that she feels, she has immunity. She could drag the whole team down, and that's not fair. But instead, she ends up saying, okay, I have immunity. I'll do whatever you guys want. And so they tell her what they want her to do. She does it, and then they get up there to the judging panel, and everyone's like, yours, Sandy, yours is the worst. You should have gone home. And everyone's like giving her the side eye. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa back up like you told her what you wanted her to do I kind of feel like either either you say okay fine you do your own design and then we'll blame you afterwards or you say okay you're immune you have to do immune you have immunity you have to do what we say which is what ended up happening so I feel like it was kind of unfair I also found the judging really super inconsistent so the winning team all had basically sheath dress with stuff over it. The unconventional materials wasn't really integrated into the design. I get where they were going, but they were unable to achieve it in their time. And I felt that it wasn't that interesting. And the, the way they did the judging was they put, uh, here's our top team, here's our bottom team, no discussion. So a lot of people were really unhappy that teams that they felt were really strong were never addressed. And then of course, for Angela, you know, they say basically, well, um, your design is horrible and your team would have won without you. And I just re really felt to me that the judging was done for the highest amount of drama. And I, I don't like that. I like to believe it's a real reality show where they, uh, not, uh, well, yeah, a real reality show, but also that the, the competition is genuine and that what we are seeing is truly deep down what they believe. And over the seasons, especially since it moved to Lifetime, sometimes it feels like they're making decisions based on, oh, Angela's really insecure. Wouldn't it be interesting if it was her fault that her team didn't win? Okay, wouldn't it make a great story if Amanda, who's never won a challenge and was on a team season, comes back and wins a team challenge? That would be so amazing. Let's do that. And then saying stuff like, oh, well, people already don't like Sandia, Sandia's uh, designs. Let's make sure they really hate her by putting her team into the bottom while she has immunity and then telling her it's her fault, but being unable to kick her off. Like, right? Like, doesn't it feel like that? It really feels like that to me. So, uh, not my favorite episode. I deleted it and I will not be watching it again. I really hope the rest of the season turns up. It makes me super uncomfortable to watch people... Um, uh, where the drama is all about human emotions rather than the clothing. So that's my thoughts. I'll see you soon.